Hey, YouTube family and GN subs. A couple weeks ago, we spoke about a parole program. Well, we have a brand new one that just dropped last week. The Biden administration uh, has rolled out additional countries that I want to talk about. I also want to break this down and explain to you exactly the differences between some of these parole programs. Also give you some updates as to what's going on in the immigration world. Hey, stick around at the end. I have a comment from a good news subscriber. I call them GN subs uh, at the end and I wanna share that with you. So stick around till the end. Hey, you can get me at HRG at graylaw.com. That's the only place to get me. And uh, we got a lot to unpack today. So let's get at it. All right, so let's break down these parole programs that we're talking about here. There's several different types. I'm gonna talk about three of them that have come to fruition in the last uh, couple of weeks here. Well, first, let me say, what's happening is Biden is trying to fix the border. So what we're doing is we're looking at those countries where they're coming to the border, down through Mexico, very dangerous, coyotes, smugglers, etc. There's a lot of crime that goes on. It's a very, very dangerous trip. So what Biden is trying to do is to fix this by a parole program where you can actually pick up a parole, which allows you to come to the country legally and obtain work authorization for up to three years in this newest program. So from what I've read in a relatively short period of time, it's been great. There's been 300,000 less individuals trying to enter the U.S. illegally and 100,000 that have been paroled under these programs. Good stuff, folks. All right, so two different types of parole processes, okay? The first is the newest that's been announced. That is when you have a family preference petition. So one of your relative has applied for you. It could be, for example, a first preference, a second preference, third preference, uh, or fourth preference. It doesn't matter. Brother, sister, it could be a, a parent with a green card that applies for you. Whenever there's a waiting period, if you have an approved petition and you get an invite from NVC to have your family member paroled into the U.S., that's the first one. The second one is where you have a sponsor in the U.S. that makes an application for you to be paroled into the United States. That's the second type, but don't get them confused. So let's talk about the countries uh, in each one. So the recent one, Colombia, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. This is an expanded list of those countries where you can have an approved petition, right? And have them paroled into the United States. Last month and a couple of weeks ago, I talked about a prior one. So the first countries that were announced for this family reunification program were Colombia, Cuba, El Salvador, Guatemala, Hades, and Honduras. So yeah, again, recently they just expanded a little bit. So look for these programs. All right, let's talk about the previous one. Cubans, Haitians, Venezuelans, and Nicaraguans, okay? This is the sponsored program, right? So you need a U.S. sponsor in the U.S. to be able to be paroled into the U.S. Now, what I've done in each of these programs, I put a link in the description box below. So you can go check it out, go right to the USCIS, DHS, State Department website, and you can find out all the information if you have a family member that you need to be paroled into the U.S. All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about biometrics. Now, remember, for biometrics, you need to get your photos and your fingerprints taken by immigration. If you miss your appointment, your whole case could be denied and you have to start over again. So how do we avoid this? We avoid this by going to the appointment, right? If there's some reason you can't go, the standard is going to be changed. So watch out for this, folks. The standard is going to be, you're going to have to show good cause. You can't just say, oh, I don't want to go that day. You have to have a good reason, health reason, family emergency, etc. Be careful on these. Go get your biometrics so your adjustment case won't be denied. All right, another thing to look out for, CBP has just announced, if you're from a country where you can come on the visa waiver program, it's called ESTA, and you've applied and you've been approved, if you travel to Cuba, you cannot come to the U.S. CBP has just announced that, so be vigilant, be careful. If you're from a country and you qualify under the visa uh, waiver program and you travel through Cuba, be careful. All right, there's also talk about the U.S. citizenship uh, test 
being updated, right? It's been a while. Right now, the standard is you have to speak and read English at a third grade level. That's a pretty low standard. It's a pretty low bar. When I was representing my clients, I made sure that the officers knew this. And I don't think I've had one client that has failed the actual exam. And it's been many, many, many applicants, all right? I've had clients that had to take it twice, but the second time they pass, right? All right, so the new uh, English exam is supposed to be a verbal exam. They'll show the applicant, for example, a picture of daily activity, like, you know, riding a bike, uh, a picture of weather, a picture of food, and the applicant has to explain what it is. So yeah, a little bit more difficult than previously, but I believe what will happen is that they'll have these pictures and photos and activities where you can study those prior to the exam. It's not going to be like some random thing that they'll pick, you know, out of the blue. But again, just want you to be aware. All right, I wanted to show you a comment from a GN sub. This GN sub has been following my playlist and my most frequently asked questions where I house all of my content, good content where you can learn immigration law. They looked at my videos, they went for citizenship, they were approved, and the client is grateful. Thank you for watching Gray Law TV. Click below, like, and subscribe. Send me a comment. I do answer all of them for my GN subs, and uh, we'll see you next time.